As a boy growing up on Harvey's Hill, Cooper was an avid reader, reflecting the influence of both parents, and he was an outstanding student. He attended Center College and then, at his father's suggestion, transferred to Yale, where he compiled an exemplary academic record and captained the basketball team. He graduated from Yale in, 19, from Yale in 1923 and then began law school at Harvard. Everything seemed to be going John's way. Then in 1924, tragedy struck the Cooper household. His father suffered a stroke and died. Now the death of a father is never an easy thing for any family. But besides the personal loss to the Coopers, John Sr.'s passing also revealed that the family was in dire financial straits. As the oldest son, responsibility fell to John. He dropped out of law school and assumed leadership of the household, helping support his younger brothers and sisters. But John went even further, assuming liability for his father's debts. To John, it was a matter of principle to pay back his father's creditors. It would take him a quarter of a century to finally pay off what his father owed. But he considered it a matter of honor that this be done. This sense of duty would prove to be a hallmark of Cooper's life and career.